Good morning. I'm inside in this little kind of breakfast nook that I've been putting together. And I have replacement Barnell mug for the one that didn't quite make it back from France. The mug itself and the handle are a little different, but this was the mug that I use for coffee just about every day in France. And opening the box and finding this sweet face looking up at me was like being greeted by an old friend. And I don't know if you can see outside, I'm still in Arizona. I wake up still not knowing where I am, but here I am in the land of monsoons this time of year. There's a lot of humidity, nothing like the southeast or northeast regions of the United States, and certainly not quite like France and Belgium, where we were for the last five years. But um, this time of year, the humidity and kind of tension, the energy, literally, you can feel it just building in the air. Um, I felt like my body was like vibrating with electricity the other day. It's like I could just feel that this is all building, and you can see it in the sky because we get these really massive, they're called thunderhead clouds. Those are the ones where it's just kind of like this big tower of cloud. It gets quite dark. I mean, it, it was it was like evening the other day in the middle of the afternoon. Suddenly it's very ominous. It's very dynamic. Lots and lots of energy. And then it storms. Usually we'll storm. We'll get a thunderstorm, claps of thunder, lots of wind, rain. So much wind and rain and hail a couple weeks ago that um, all the leaves, almost all the leaves, were blown off the trees. And so now we're experiencing what one of my neighbors called second spring. It's my first because I'm just getting here. And it's really like, oh, it's, it's so nice to see the trees coming back with little baby leaves. There's a lot of energy here. There's a lot of life. It's very dynamic. It's not dull. Um, just like the life of Mark. <laughs> um, we have barn owls just in the brain up tree of a family of baby barn owls. Um, if you go to the left of our house, if you go to the right, there's a family of great horned owl. So um, I don't have a great horned owl mug, but I've got my barn owl. I've got my my monsoon mantra companion. See if she sticks around when the music starts. I've got my Bava Harmonium, which Nick at Old Delhi Music held on to for me for over a year because we had planned to come back a year ago. <laughs> and then, oh, surprise, pandemic. Um, so bless them at Old Delhi Music because what a gift it was to, to greet this beautiful instrument in the mail just a couple weeks ago. And then I've been learning, There's I found a couple, if you're interested in mantra music and chanting and learning how to play um, on harmonium or guitar at Kirtan Central, Daniel um, Tucker and his wife Karen Tucker run um, the Bhakti Breakfast Club and you get a free first month and then it's $25 and there's just, just tons and tons of introduction to playing music um, on the guitar, on the harmonium, and then lots and lots of chants. And he's just really sweet. Um, they're really easy to follow. There's also the Kirtan Leader Institute that was started and is led by Mike Cohen up in Boulder. I think Daniel Tucker's in California and Mike Cohen is in Boulder. So I've been learning chanting mantras, new ones, and reconnecting uh, with with ones that I knew, but in a new way, through both of them. And I'm going to sing one for you right now that I just learned the other day from Kirtan Central Bhakti Breakfast Club, Govinda Jaya Jaya. And um, this one is, again, simple, simple in terms of ease of learning the words. It's Govinda Jaya Jaya, Gopala Jaya Jaya, and that's repeated as many times as you like. I'll repeat it a couple times. And then you switch to the second um, kind of stanza of the song, Radha Ramana Hari Govinda Jaya Jaya. And what this means 
So on the Bhakti Breakfast Club, you can click like learn more about this mantra and it takes you to this whole page with Sanskrits and translations and stories and links to other sites. But basically Govinda, they say, is a name for the youthful, youthful Krishna, literally the Lord of the cows. Govinda. And then Jai or Jaya, people will say Jai Ma. It's like victory. Hooray, hooray Krishna. Gopala, it's a name for the divine baby Krishna, shepherd of the cows. So instead of lord of the cows as the youthful Krishna, it's the shepherd as the baby. Radha is the, she's like the female, they say consort, but I think like a lot of these gods, like Shiva has, um, I think Parvati, Rama, Sita, Krishna has Radha. And she's a Hindu goddess, and she is worshipped as the goddess of love, tenderness, compassion, and devotion, and also described as the feminine version of Krishna himself. So that's another way of seeing her. Hari is a name of Vishnu, which literally means the remover, the one who removes all suffering and all veils of ignorance. So, you know, just a little bit of um, <laughs> powerful intention for a relatively simple mantra. So hopefully you'll join me and sing if you're not joining right now. Um, I'm, I'm glad you're here when you, when you do get here. And I'll post this on my YouTube channel as well. So here we go. <laughs> Jai Ma.
Oh, I hope you enjoyed that. My voice isn't all that powerful. I'm still waking up, but it seemed like a really beautiful meditation and way to greet the day and send love out in the world. So, sending you lots of love. Thank you for listening to Mansin Mantra. A très bientôt, j'espère. See you soon, I hope.